welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog getting myself ready for the day and i thought i would show you guys my updated i want to say spring makeup routine but it's still been very cold here so hopefully soon to be spring makeup look <laughs> but i am using a few new products that i wanted to update you guys on um one of them being this concealer from huda beauty this is their faux filter luminous matte concealer and it is amazing if you guys have seen any of my other like get ready with me's or makeup favorites you know that i am absolutely obsessed with the nars radiant matte concealer i've literally been using that concealer for years and there's nothing that i found that has even come close to the performance of that and just how it sits on the skin but this is really really nice it just kind of like melts but it still has really good pigment so you do get the coverage but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin so it's kind of like the nars but with just a little bit more pigment to it gonna set that in place with the laura mercier translucent setting powder this is such a nice powder it's super lightweight prevents the concealer from settling into fine lines just makes this whole area look nice and smooth here i'm using the brow powder from anastasia in the shade dark brown. I love a little of this radiant bronze light powder from Hourglass. Really nice bronzer that has some kind of luminosity. It's not glitter, but definitely has a luminous finish, which is so pretty for spring and summer. My tan is definitely gone right now, so this is nice just to add a little color. I love taking a little bit on my lids too. Okay, blush is definitely one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup. I found this new one. It's from Huda Beauty, but it's from her Glow Wish brand, which is her cleaner line. The look and the formulas are a little bit more lightweight. This one is so pretty. It's called Sassy Saffron, and it's this beautiful corally, like pinky corally shade. It's perfect. Then I take a little bit more across my lids. For highlight, I've been really into this one from Benefit. It's called Cookie, and it is gorgeous. You guys probably know I also really like the one from Becca, their classic champagne pop. I still use that one from time to time, but this one is just like a little bit extra. It is very glossy, very, very pretty. A nice little extra glow for spring. And then for mascara, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Volume 2. I've actually been doing my makeup with Nalia. She's so curious and she loves discovering new like objects and things. So I went through all my makeup the other day. I decluttered. I wiped everything down. So if she's awake when I'm doing my makeup, I open the drawer and I let her pick any item that she's curious about. And I'll sit her next to me and she'll have her little makeup stuff to play with as I'm getting myself ready. She's recently learned how to, I wouldn't say it's like crawling but it's like scooching around it's so cute we actually have to go through the entire apartment and baby proof everything because now she is quick and just very determined to get around and explore can imagine it must feel like you know when you first get your driver's license and you're like freedom she's found a way to get around and it's so exciting and then lastly i put on a little bit of this karina star uh, lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury looks like this. Just a little dab. It looks more like a stain than like an actual lipstick. That is how I've been doing my makeup lately. Just really light and fresh and quick. Outfit of the day. Another like spring kind of inspired look <laughs> not quite warm enough to wear outside yet but i like to switch it up from my joggers and leggings and things that i wear very very often and this just makes me feel good and i think that's really important too actually so happy with these new pants that i got from h&m they are like nice and loose fitting they're linen i bought these for our upcoming trip to miami but i think just in general like for spring and summer super nice just a cool like laid back casual vibe and they are so comfortable this top is old from fabletics it's a nice 
ribbed beige top with a built-in bra and then this is from Oisho from last summer actually it's also linen yeah I really like the color of it and just a very casual fit all of my jewelry is from Monica Vinader including these bracelets these beautiful dainty necklaces and these gorgeous earrings which are so cool okay here you can see them a little bit better you guys know I love my gold jewelry especially hoops like this that are simple lightweight that go with everything and again I think these are so cool because they are just a little bit different from the everyday gold hoop this portion of the video is in collaboration with Monica Vinader which I'm so grateful for and that means I have a code for you so if you want to shop anything on the site you can use my code to get a little discount but these are from their new collection these are the medium size ones I also got the large ones which look like this how cool are they really cool for like a dinner look or an evening out and I love that the gold is I don't know if this is how you say it but kind of looks like hammered gold but really cool and a very unique design that is still very wearable for every day you guys know I'm always wearing this uh, Corda friendship bracelet from them so pretty I usually layer it with my watch but today I also have on their bangle this is also from their new collection again in that same gold and I love how this fits so snug they have this really clever opening here on one side so you can take it off very easily and when you put it on fit is still nice and snug like that which is so cool and then these necklaces are so beautiful as well perfect for every day great for layering really nice and lightweight just classic pieces that you can have for so many years and what's cool about Monica Vinader as well is their sustainability efforts so they use 100% recycled sterling silver on 18 karat gold for May. and all of the diamonds and gemstones and pearls that they use are ethically sourced and all their packaging is made from recycled materials as well if you guys are interested in any of these items or anything on the monica vinader site they've been so kind to offer a 20 percent off code for you guys so you can use the code mv annie j20 and that will get you 20 percent off all of the items that i mentioned and anything on their site so if you guys are interested in any of these items i'll make sure to have everything listed and linked for you down below in the description box So I've been making these really delicious protein waffles lately and I've been wanting to share the recipe with you guys. The ingredients are super simple and healthy. So it's one cup of oats blended first into a flour, one ripe banana, three eggs, two tablespoons of protein powder, two tablespoons of milk. I'm using oat milk, but you can use any milk of your choice. One tablespoon of baking powder and a dash of cinnamon. Just blend all of that up in a high speed blender and you have this really incredible waffle mixture that you can also use to make pancakes as well. This recipe makes about four waffles, so Mo and I will usually share this. We love berries on top. Here I'm using some frozen wild blueberries, but of course fresh berries are amazing too. You can use sliced banana or any other sliced fruit of your choice. Putting some peanut butter on top and some coconut flakes and then a little drizzle of wild honey. And this combination is so delicious. And as the ingredients are wholesome and nutritious, like you've got the oats, banana, egg, it's something that I even have for breakfast sometimes, but it's also fun to have as a snack in the afternoon or even as a dessert. The recipe for this will be down below in the description box if you guys wanna try it out as well.
look what I got. Okay, we are in the car. We just stopped to get a little snack. Mo got this for me. Mm. Okay, here is our dinner tonight. Looks so yummy. This is my classic salmon recipe. If you guys have not tried this out yet, I would highly, highly recommend it. It's super simple. It always turns out so good. Then we've got some roasted carrots, some steamed broccoli, some sweet potato. How cute is this? <laughs> this is Nalia's plate. We don't always eat sitting down together. You know, we're monitoring her and we're helping her and stuff, but we try to do it sometimes when the timing is right. And today is one of those days. So she's also got the broccoli, sweet potato. This is the salmon that I've just mixed in with some yogurt, some plain yogurt and a little lemon juice and the carrots there's the second plate and then we've got the salad with lettuce cilantro cucumber red onion some cherry tomatoes and a little olive oil and salt and pepper yum hi guys it is a new day i just got my nails done which always feels so nice and i love this soft neutral kind of like light pink nude color it's always my favorite yeah i want to say a huge thank you for all of the kind and just incredible messages and comments that you guys left on my video last week sharing all about my breastfeeding experience and journey and that was not an easy video for me to film like having to open those parts of my memory and of my brain um that yeah i haven't thought about in a while and actually looking back from that video there are still so many other things that i wish i would have talked about and said it's just hard to capture and articulate and find words for you know certain experiences and emotions that you sometimes feel but i'm really happy that i tried and that i was able to share what i shared and just to know how many of you experienced similar situations and especially um in the clinic how a lot of the places are unfortunately very understaffed definitely not putting blame on anything i feel like looking back i should definitely have looked into that more but i just assumed that you get more like care and guidance with all of that you know being in a clinic or in a hospital so that was really crazy to know because again i felt like that was just my experience but yeah it turns out that a lot of people have unfortunately dealt um with that too and definitely for next time like i feel like i already know a lot now just having gone through all of this but i definitely want to prepare myself as much as possible i just think it's so important to be your own advocate and that's how i felt like throughout my pregnancy and definitely a lot with the birthing process like i was very yeah i felt like i prepared myself a lot for that i did hypnobirthing i stretched almost every single day i was really like aware of contractions breathing techniques i did two courses in that and i felt you know very prepared but but for those like really precious early early weeks of having a new baby i thought that i would actually have time to read up about that and watch videos on that when i was breastfeeding and when the baby was sleeping i hadn't planned on doing much work and stuff during that time i thought i would have like this free time to do those kinds of things but no like no 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 that i mean for me at least that wasn't my case but we live and we learn but yeah i want to say just a huge thank you for your really kind and honest open very vulnerable messages and comments that you left me I appreciate every single one of you yeah I love this little community that we have and that we can bond over so many things from like motherhood for those who are moms or want to be moms one day to beauty to cooking and workouts and lifestyle and decor and all the things